I know this sounds a little bit crazy, but apparently to make your all-wheel drive IS250 become a rear-wheel drive, I took off my ABS sensor from my passenger passenger rear wheel and I changed the hub and all that but for some reason the computer of the car doesn't connect to it so I'm gonna show you right here the ABS sensor is off in the system and the brake is also off but even though brake is not on but for some reason the car you know it malfunctions and can't connect the ABS sensor so it redirects your all-wheel drive system to become a rear-wheel drive and it actually it actually works because i tried to do a burnout and it does do a burnout with this tire only spinning but the other tire does not spin because it's a, a open diff that's why so yes there is a way to do it and i will show you proof that i've actually drifted this car it is an all-wheel drive, but now it's a rear-wheel drive for some reason. It's crazy. It's like that. It's like those uh, infinities where you take off the fuse and it becomes a rear-wheel drive. You know, it's kind of the same thing. But keep in mind, it does. It can mess up your uh, system, your all-wheel drive system, and your axles or whatever. You know, stuff like that. It can happen, but nothing has happened so far. So I guess it's fine for right now. Also, my check four-wheel drive is on, and I believe that is the cause of that changes the all-wheel drive system to become rear-wheel drive. So the check four-wheel drive came on after I switched the hub bearing from the rear wheel, and the ABS sensor and brake brake sensor also came on after I changed it. So here's the proof that it actually does do a burnout and you have to be in first gear obviously so and i am on dry ground so i'm gonna try it right here i'm not gonna do a lot because the tire is about to blow so it does work. That's proof that it does actually work. An all-wheel drive would not do that.